Yo, what's going on? As you may already know, this is Grant David from Static Multimedia, and man, do we have a great interview for you today. I have been privileged enough to sit down and talk to Vinny Paz and Just Allah of Jedi Mind Tricks. In my opinion, one of the greatest rap groups of all time. This is like a dream come true for me, and I'm very excited to talk to JMT and find out more about their newest release, Violence Begets Violence, in stores October 25th, 2011. For those that may be unfamiliar, Jedi Mind Tricks has been around since the early 90s and have collaborated with such artists as Cool G Rap, Sean Price, Raz Kaz, Cannabis, Immortal Technique, Ill Bill, and the list goes on. But enough of me rambling, and you know, without further ado, here is one half of Jedi Mind Tricks, Just Allah! Just, how you doing, bro? I'm good, homie. I'm good. Good. That's what I like to hear. Did you um, happen to catch any of the BET ciphers last night? I did. You know, I, that's all I watch for the ciphers. You know what I mean? I kind of keep me on it. Yeah. And fast forward to everything else. And I, I watch them in seeds, you know? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you think took it? Who do you think had the best one? You know, Eminem kind of, they, they saved the best for last. Eminem kind of smart that, man. I got to give it to him. For sure, for sure. What do you, so what are you thinking about, uh, you know, like Slaughterhouse and Yellow Wolf and all of them? You know, uh, the funny thing is, I think they all rhyme. Like, they say they didn't hear each other rhyme. Yeah. They all kind of rhymed in order, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, from best to last. Or from worst to better, you know what I mean? It's like, uh... Yo, man, I, I like Florida House. You know, voice is, is phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Joel is crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, the, uh, the boy, Joe Biden, you know, he's from Jersey. Yeah. I think, like, if, if you give him time, you say some hot shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell the Florida House, dude. For sure, for sure. Yeah, they're, they're doing big things right now. Um, so now I understand that you guys got the, the new Jedi Mind Tricks installment coming out October 25th. Um, would you mind tell, tell us a little bit about that? You know, what can JMT fans expect? Oh, man, it's just, it's going to be the hardest album that comes out this year, you know. Uh, it has put a lot of hard work into it. And, you know what I mean, I think that we executed that well. It's like, uh, we just took our time and just came up with the most hardcore music we could come up with, you know. It's the, it's the album, I feel, that represents Jedi Mind Tricks the best, you know. Really? And, yeah. and, and why do you say that? Just because on a day to day, this is who we are. Yeah. And, uh, you know what I mean? Hardcore music is how we live. Like, there wasn't one beat that was a challenge to rap over, or, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was more just like some beats I didn't even hear until it was time to go in the studio and lay it down. You know, it was like what I knew. You know what I mean? What they was going to come with, what, what kind of beat to expect. Yeah. And I just kind of wrote on, wrote on that. You know what I mean? I felt yeah. more in my zone with this one. Okay, yeah, for sure, for sure. So who who are some of the uh, the artists featured on Violence Against Violence? You know, which which collaboration were you most excited about doing? Young Z. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Young Z from the outsiders. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He can taste one is on the hook. But Young Z, he's, he's from New Jersey, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's a legend to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was really excited to work with him. Kiss Poo did a hook for us. You know, that that was crazy. You know, Foshnick and, you know what I mean? They, they were my shit back in the day. Um, who else on that job? Uh, the homies, you know, AOTP rapping, uh, Black and Stan is on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we got King Magnetic on a jaw, and uh, we just roll from there, man. It, it's just strictly like the, the fans, you know, like uh, people we deal with every day, people yeah. that we see every day. For sure, for sure. So which track off the new album are you feeling the most? You know, um, which which track is your favorite one? Burning a Mirror is my favorite track, produced by my only sea lands. You know, it's just me and Paz once again, uh, just us spitting as hard as we can, you know what I mean? We thought of a hook right in the studio. I came up with the first half. Paz came up with the second half of it. 
and, and it, was, it was a wrap from there. You know, the rock just came out crazy. Very nice. Very, well, I, I can't wait to hear it. And um, are there any are there any plans for shooting a music video for that track, or you know, maybe for target practice? Nah, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do it. Um, what what we going on a video trip? You know, we've 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 met like me and Pat have never shot a video together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're we're more about the music. You know what I'm saying? But it, we're in the YouTube age. I think we are gonna come correct with some videos on this one. Very nice, very nice. Can't wait to see it, man. Can't wait. So uh, yeah, you you and Pat are going on tour pretty soon here, like with the within a month or so, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we set it off in uh, Connecticut. You know what I mean? Uh, New Haven, Connecticut is like the first show. And then uh, we will, we're going to do the Hit the States all of November. And then uh, we're going to be up in, uh, we're down in Australia. Yeah. You know what I mean? In, uh, in December. Now, do you guys have a pretty big following in Australia? I mean, when you guys are down there and tour, I mean, what's that like? You know, I've never been there. Yeah, my trip has never been to Australia. This is our first time, you know. But uh, I see, like, the Facebook ads hit me up all the time, you know what I mean? Like, uh, they seem pretty amped to hear us. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So... And we've had come, we've had heads come from, come from, from Australia to see us in the States, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's, that's legit right there. So... So now it's time to get a little serious. Um, so by now most of us heard that Stoop is not going to make an appearance on the album. Um, you know what, what? What was the reasoning behind that? You know, can you elaborate a little, a little bit for us about that? Yeah, man. You know, uh, Stoop just got done recording um, some like uh, I don't even know what to call it, like some some quartet type music. Yeah. You know, and uh, like some uh, trip hop stuff. Yeah, 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 like on, 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 on a Dutch record or whatever. Yeah. You know, um, it was, was like a female vocalist. It was a little softer than what, you know what I mean, I normally listen to. And then when he submitted beats for the for the violence against violence, we, me and Todd just wasn't feeling them. We, we kind of agreed on maybe two of them. And, you know what I mean, like uh, it, it just wasn't working, so... He kinda, he's kind of doing his thing, we're doing ours, man. We have to keep the, the process moving and keep the ball rolling. We got a ton of producers that we work with on the Army of the Pharaohs. He's never been on the Army of the Pharaohs record, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's never been on the, the past solo. He wasn't on the Heavy Metal Kings. He's not going to be on my solo, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, he, he uh, kind of like, just kind of uh, is doing his own thing and growing as a musician. Just like we are. Yeah, for sure. So, what's the relationship between you guys now? You know, is it strained, or do you guys, you know, still pretty much cool? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, if I see Stoop, I haven't seen him in years, but if I do, you know what I mean? It's all love. Like, I give him, I'll say what's up to him, but, uh, you know what I mean? I, as far as, uh, like, you know, if he comes with a hot beat, he comes with a hot beat, you know what I mean? And we're going to rap on it. But, yeah. He's not, like, out of the mix, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's still around. He's just doing him and we doing us now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, that's, that's cool, man. That's cool. Jedi Mind Tricks, I mean, you guys have remained, you know, so real and so genuine in all of your rhymes. And, you know, when, when I listen to it, because I'm a big Jedi Mind Tr Tricks fan as well, you know, when I listen to it, it's, it's apparent that there's artists that work. And I mean, you guys are some of the best MCs in the game, and you have been for a while, but you still, you know, still go on to remain underrated. I mean, like, why do you feel that is? Why, why do you think that, you know, you're underrated? Oh, wow. You know, thank, well, one, thank you for, for that. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, you know. And, you know, mostly I think that we're underrated because there's such a, like, anyone can make music nowadays, you know what I mean? And, like, uh... It's like we get overlooked because you know what I mean. Like we're not we're not gonna make party songs. Yeah. Or we're not gonna you know what I mean. We're just not those types of dudes. We stay true to who we are, and that's been kind of it's kind of held us back. But it's at the same time it's it's made us like who we are in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I wouldn't sacrifice a thing or change a thing. You know, like if you if you're a real lyricist, you're gonna hear about just a walk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because. I'm just going to naturally gravitate to your ears, but 
you know what I mean? If you're like into like insane clown posse or you know what I mean? Like yeah. all that other type of stuff. You're not if you're not like a lyrical dude and you're you're more focused on like beats and stuff like that, like you're probably you might overlook it. You know? Yeah, for sure. But you, taking that into consideration, you know, I just also really get this strong feeling that you guys, you know, prefer it that way. You guys would, you know, rather be real and underground than, you know, be on MTV. Like, you know, I, I don't think that, would, would I be correct in thinking that Jedi Mind Tricks, you know, has no interest in doing the whole MTV deal? Uh, no, nah, not at all. You know, uh, it's like the way, the way that I look at it is, man, I can't really be any different than who I am, you know, like, a lot of people are just actors playing rappers, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, I'm a real rapper, you know what I mean, like, I, I try to write every day, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. it, it's a real life, I get excited when I hear good lyrics, you know what I mean, like, this isn't something that, when I step away from the mic, I'm like, doing something else, like, I'm, I'm 24-7 a rapper, you know, so, uh, you know, uh, if MTV knocks on the door, we, we ain't gonna, like, uh, not answer it, but you know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, us chasing that, you know what I mean? Yeah. The so-called dream, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. my dream, like, we all want to make money, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain things that I'm not willing to do to get to that point. You for know? sure, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely respectable. So, um, kind of going along those same lines, um, who who in the game right now are you feeling? You know, who who do you think that is is doing a good job of this? You know, and pushing the medium forward. You know, as an art form and as and as an entertainment form. Is there anyone in particular? Uh, not not necessarily anyone in particular. You know, I still turn on the radio once in a while. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I like I just do just. Like, and when I'm not paying attention to lyrics and stuff like that, like, I feel like the boy meets Mills, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I think he's good, but, yeah. you know what I mean? As far as, like, is, he, he's not doing the same thing that I'm doing, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's a big difference, but, yeah, I, 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 I still feel like the mainstream, you know, Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? Like, he'll say something that I'm like, oh, that was kind of hot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh... I'm pretty sure he has, like, ghost writers and stuff like that, but, you know what I mean? Like, when you're just not, when you're just vibing out, chilling there, like, I go to the clubs, I try to get bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, it's like, I hear, I hear all that kind of stuff, but, you know what I mean, as far as, it, like, it, it doesn't really influence what I'm doing, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, that's them and this is us, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's definitely respectable, man. Keep doing, keep that mindset, for sure. Moving forward... Um, what are your plans for the future? Where is Jedi Mind Tricks going to be in five years? Oh, uh, in five years, you know what I mean? Like, my plan is, is to just keep keep it going, you know, uh, maybe, maybe the masses will wake up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and, and recognize the realness, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it, it's, it's more on the masses than it is on us, you know, because uh, I don't think we're going to change too much. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, if the, if more people understood what we were doing, you know, it, it's kind of like when you see like an ill painting or a sculptor or something, you want to show the world that, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're like, okay, a few heads appreciate it, but like this needs to be respected by everyone, you know? So that's pretty much where I'm at with it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want the world to kind of wake up and see like what we're doing. And, and you know what I mean? And it's not like I, I'm like, there's not... I'm not gonna sacrifice myself for one band, but you know what I mean? Like if the fans can just open their eyes to us, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that would be a good thing. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man, that's awesome. All right, well, you know, before I let you go, I just, I just want to say, you know, how much I appreciate, you know, me and the rest of Static Multimedia. I really appreciate you granting us this opportunity to talk to you, man. It, you know, it really has been a privilege. You know, I'm a I'm a huge Jedi Mind Trick fan. And, you know, just definitely respect what y'all are doing. And just please keep doing this. Please. Just, you know, thank you for that. Oh, well, you're welcome, man. And thank you, man. Thank you for taking your time out to talk, man, and Bill, man. It's it, it been a good interview. Thank you very much. So, so what we'll do is we'll publish this article along with this interview, and we'll put a link where the fans can pre-order Violence Begets Violence, released on October 25th. That'd be dope, man. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Not a problem. You you have a good night, Jeff, man. Oh, uh, you too, man. Be safe. You too. Peace. Peace.